Hi, my name is Jan. Welcome to Butterfly Tracks. Look what's behind me. Is that cute or what? Someone might have to explain to you younger folks what that even is back there. <laughs> That's so cute. My dream, uh, my dream location, my bucket list is the Redwood Forest. After the Redwood Forest, I'll be going all the way around the perimeter of the United States. That's an epic trick, but I don't fly in a straight line. Butterflies don't fly in a straight line. Today, <laughs> kitchen. Today's kitchen day. Spring cleaning in the kitchen. I took it, everything out, and I'll, I'll show you that later. I took everything out, put it back, reorganized, got rid of some things. It looks a little better. It's still kind of packed with stuff. But I'll, sh I'll talk to you about my cooking methods. I'm not going to have a cooking show. Okay, so let's go to those couple of really interesting places that most people do not have on their travel plans. I like those kind of places. In our last episode, we were at Oasis State Park in New Mexico. And on the way there, I passed through some mountains and I saw snow for the first time in 40 years. And I had to go back through those mountains, but no snow. This time there were some awesome winds that I really didn't want to drive in. So I, I found a rather unique place for shelter. And uh, that'll be my first stop and you'll see that next. Let's go. campsite. <laughs> this is better than the campground I left. I was at the Oasis campground for a whole week. It was $14 a night with electric, nice hot showers, but you had to go up and down hills in soft sand to get to the bathroom. It did include electric, but look at this. I am at the Casino Apache um, I'll have to add a title to tell you where, but look at the mountains behind there and there's even bigger mountains behind me. And this campsite has free electric, doesn't cost $14 a night, as a quick walk on a sidewalk to get to the bathroom. This is better than a state campground. Free miles, free heat, overnight parking for free. Wonderful.
This is how you clean out your van. And yeah, it doesn't stay perfect. It's van life reality. You go to a beautiful park where the scenery is great. The temperature is beautiful. You park in the shade. You also have the shade of the tailgate up. And parks generally have nice big garbage cans and they're all over the place. So now that we have the perfect day and the perfect spot and the perfect temperature, I just put down a black plastic bag so I can take things out, take them completely out, clean whatever needs to be cleaned, you know, little pieces of paper that have fallen down, anything needs dusting, and I'm going to rearrange it so it looks better and easier to find things. Okay, working on the first little drawer here. I've got some um, dry things. This is all food. I've got some spices, my no salt, some pepper. When I left, I put all my um, garlic and onion powder and everything salty spices all together. And I also put together all of the cinnamon and ginger and all that kind of thing together in this one. So my spices are just in two things. Got some brown sugar, vanilla, a couple of things of oatmeal, an extra mayonnaise for sandwiches sometime, some sugar in that one, beetroot powder, which I should be using more often, um, like potato flakes, I guess those are, and um, that's vinegar for cleaning. And that's what I've got so far. So on top of that, I'm going to put food items like pecans, a couple of things of tuna packets. Those will fit in there nicely. This is a good thing I found. Organic aromatic jasmine rice. That's already cooked, so it doesn't, you just, you know, kind of warm it up, add a little water to it. Works good. What else I got here? Got some craisins. More light tuna. I've used up all my chicken packages like that. I really like the chicken. Different flavors, make a sandwich or just a, a salad, like a tuna salad out of it. Everything's nice and neat in there and then I'm gonna start laying it in so it fits best because it's all gotta fit in here. The craisins and the pecans could be good for oatmeal. These are kind of nice. I hadn't seen them. Don't see them too often, but they may be coming more, more common. I think it was Libby's corn and carrots. I have dumped the water out of that and used it in a, like a chicken salad. It's really good that way, surprising. Okay, so that drawer is almost done. It does have room for more. It's amazing how much you can put in these. They're, they're deep and they're pretty tall too. So I can just keep stuffing things in there it seems like. So there's a little bit more I could put across the top here. But that's pretty much the dry food. I'm going to stick my instant coffee, instant coffee right there, in a coffee creamer. Here's my complicated coffee system. I don't think we need the slow motion montage with um, the violins and everything, but we have instant coffee. We have a vanilla creamer. We have a <laughs> heating device that goes on the side of a cup. A cup just like this. And I can put the water in there. And I can put this little cutie pie right here into the water. Plug this into my buetti and pretty soon I got hot water. And I use the instant coffee and the vanilla creamer and some sweeteners. So there you have it, the coffee montage. No music. Maybe we'll put music over this, we'll see. I really wanted to get to the bottom of this and I did. So now it's time to put things back nice and neat and clean. Trying to make it fit really good. So far we've got some uh, organic soap. Good for just about everything. Got some 
Ziploc bags, my Big Loves cup and a thermal cup inside of that, and then parts to the blender. Let's see what else we can get in here. Next come some paper plates and plastic wire. I do not like to use them if I don't have to, but sometimes, you know, you just have to. Way too big a bag here of various kinds of tea, a little bit of instant coffee packets, and then also way too big a bag of these uh, drink things, you know, that you just put in um, bottled water. Those are nice. It'd be better if I drank those than all the uh, carbonated beverages. So we'll see what all fits. This is my Zip Fizz stash. Do love my Zip Fizz. But if you're hearing sounds like a park, it's because I'm in a park. And uh, I, I love the Zip Fizz partly because it has a lot of potassium in it. And I'm supposed to have potassium. Sometimes it's been low. So there's my Zip Fizz. Also good with caffeine, B12, lots of um, vitamins in it. That's my Zip Fizz. I used to do a lot of cachava. I actually lost a little weight doing the cachava. I need to get back to the cachava. You can look it up. Um, I'm, I'm not selling it. But I thought it was good. It has a lot of um, organic things and superfoods in it. Still some room in this little bin. See that little hole right there? I think my hot logic's gonna fit in there. If you haven't seen one of these, you should look it up on YouTube. They can tell you a lot more about it. It's a cooking device, kind of like a slow cooker. It has a little Pyrex dish inside here. There we go. Hot logic fit right in there. This thing is pretty well packed. It's just amazing how much you can get in there if you fit it in like puzzle pieces. Maybe I can get some more in there. Anyway, let me close it up. It's looking good there. That's my main food storage. My dust. I mean, I'm in the desert. Wind's been blowing. Um, this little whisk is a great thing for it, all kinds of things. For the floor, for whatever. For the little mat that I showed you that I put outside. But it can't do everything. I gotta clean that out with some uh, spray cleaner, I suppose. But I can't get all this dust. That's gonna have to be a vacuum at a car wash, I suppose. So I'm getting there. This isn't perfect, but um, it's a whole lot better than it was. But these hard plastic parts, like all these interior parts, when they get a little grimy, when you, because you spend a lot of time in it. Something like an OxyClean, or 409, any of those will do. Sometimes if it's really grimy, let it sit a minute and then see what it looks like. So that's better, that's better. For a little touch-ups for the car paint, I'm using this um, waterless wash and wax. I haven't used it before, but it seems to be working pretty good. For this area right here, pretty shiny. That does tend to accumulate dirt and dust and so forth. This is my Blue Eddy solar charger. Right now it's plugged into the car and they were nice enough to put a, let me see if I can get it, I can see it, a 12 volt plug right here in the back, exactly where I needed it. It goes to the car. And what I like about the Blue Eddy my first thought was it's blue goes with my theme also it has a lot of I wish I could get it out of there but it's kind of tight in there any rate it's uh, I think it's a 700 watt uh, and I have a 200 watt panels that came with it I hope this noise isn't too much I am at a public park and everybody's having fun here um, it I, another thing I like about the blue Eddie it has a flat top I'm sure the Jackery would be great but it doesn't come in blue <laughs> and it doesn't have a flat top like this and you know what about that flat top that flat top is wireless charging and it works I love that it has uh, let's see four 110 outlets regular outlets 
that wireless charging is really cool. You can see that I have a case on my phone. In fact, the case even has one of those things on the back of it. But I set it down on there and it's charging. And sitting right beside my Blue Eddy is my ice maker. This is a luxury, not something you have to have. Doesn't make, I wouldn't say that it would make enough to um, really fill an ice chest. That's not what it's for. It's just for that treat of, um, you know, Coke with ice in it, iced tea with ice in it. Works great, makes, little, makes ice really fast. I don't know how many watts it is. I'm sorry, you'd have to look it up. This one happens to be a Novet. I truly love it. Right beside that is my hodgepodge of um, cooking things, metal utensils, so forth. They sit just fine in this plastic uh, bucket. It's collapsible. I don't leave it collapsed because I use it for this. And that works great for um, carrying these metal type utensils, which wouldn't have gone as well down here with the food. This uh, collapsible bucket is kind of cool because the bottom of it is a, it has some uh, knives and various little utensils in it, which I haven't ever used, but it's kind of nice to know they're there. Unclick this here. I guess that helps to really press the sandwich and open it up like this. You can see it cooks on both sides. Regular, pro regular plug, not, not a USB or 12 volt. So you can uh, press sandwiches in that. You can also cook eggs all kinds of other things in this. I currently have four actual cooking options. My Hot Logic, which fits nicely right in there, which is a slow cooker. I have this little sandwich maker, which cooks pretty quickly. Cooks several different things in there, I'm sure. And then you've all seen the one burner, butane. I've got one of those, and I have a very small foldable barbecue grill for charcoal, I should say. And that is up in my attic, because I don't use it that often. So, that's my cooking. Looking back, all the locations that I've stayed so far, however briefly, somehow don't even feel like separate stops. They seem to kind of melt together like a flowing stream of discovery. One place leads to another, not because I planned it in advance, but because the next place intrigues me more, or the weather pushes me on to something a lot more pleasant. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for giving the video a like. See you next time. Bye.